We're on the ground in Barcelona, MWC about to kick off here. We just made it to our Airbnb, a nice little pad here. Getting really excited for what's going to be uh, arriving at the show floor this year. I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. I'm Antonio And I'm Jaime Rivera. Let's go through everything we expect to see at the show. Just remember, Mobile World Congress is probably one of the biggest shows that we hit. It's probably gonna be the most amount of work. We're expecting a ton of things from different companies. We're not really expecting much when it comes to things like tablets or smartwatches. We do expect to see something, but not at least anything that we could call significant. Let's move the spotlight over to Nokia, mainly because HMD has been teasing that we should expect at least three smartphones at the show. We've seen the Nokia 6 being launched in China. It's beautiful design, underwhelming specifications. We're expecting at least one of these products to be a flagship, bring good specifications, etc. In addition to that, we're also expecting companies like ZT to show off new technologies. You know, ZT is more than just smartphones. The company is pretty much the second when it comes to smartphone spectrum LTE connectivity. The company plans to show us something related to 5G with its gigabit phone that we don't expect that to be a final product for sale. It's just, hey, this is 5G. Oppo has been teasing us with 5X. We don't know what it means, but we suspect it might mean the Apple iPhone 7 Plus optical zoom divided by two. Motorola, maybe it'll be the G5, the G5 Plus. You're gonna have to stay tuned for more details. And of course, there's Sony. The story with Sony is almost always the same. We're expecting big and we're being delivered less. Between Moto G5s and 5G LTE, LG's feel and fly like a G6, like a G6, like a G6. Already a hotly discussed phone. We've got a couple videos teasing what we might see on the show floor. Uh, we're pretty certain we've got the specs down pretty tight. Just a few unanswered questions from LG as to what they're gonna do with their next flagship device. You know, it's funny, the most interesting product at CES 2017 was the new BlackBerry, but we only got a teaser. We're expecting to actually see the final product with final software and all the functionality here at MWC. It was a gorgeous phone, at least for some of us and uh, we cannot wait to see the final thing. But in addition to that, we don't expect that to be the only product from TCL. Obviously, there is also Alcatel, and we do expect to see something from the company, hopefully the new idol, we will see. Also, Huawei in the hizzy, after a string of pretty successful product launches, from Honors to the P9 to the Mate 9, P10 already wetting our appetites. A series of really cool specs that Kirin 960 chipset in the Mate 9 already tearing up uh, processing power and the next next generation dual camera system partnered up with Leica. We're definitely anticipating a successful launch from Huawei this year on the show floor. And finally, to wrap this video up, probably the hottest product that we were expecting to see is probably a no-show, the Samsung Galaxy S8. Why? Well, Samsung has pretty much come clear that it will not announce a product at this show, but the company still does have an event. We're expecting Galaxy S8 to be part of some sort of unpacked event later in the year, and therefore, we wonder exactly what we are getting from Samsung. We have heard that we might see a teaser of the Galaxy S8, in addition to other products. And and that would be great to see, but it leads me to the question of this video. We would love to know what you are predicting to see at MWC in addition to what you're expecting most, which is the product that has you most excited. Obviously, each of us has different opinions here, so leave us a comment down below. We would love to know which ones are yours. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full MWC 2017 coverage and uh, help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. Anthony Knight. Jaime Rivera, thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the show.